G'day viewers, we're here today to finish off from the external wrap that we've run. We used a Proctor CWIT. We've previously detailed about the type bridge at the top. Now we're going to install an internal wrap, a Proctor Smart Wrap, which will connect to our type bridge, which is around the perimeter. Once again, I can't stop going on about doing the hard stuff on the ground and making your life easy. We've got some dimensions here. We've previously measured the length and the width. We've made this up on the ground and we're merely going to start pinning it and making the process a lot easier to install this air barrier. There's no creasing, there's no overlapping. We're not fighting gravity and we're making the process a lot quicker. We've meticulously strapped prior to installing the insulation. We've gone for R5, we've gone for two layers of 2.5 bats. We've meticulously strung up the blue strapping to make sure that we do not have any weight on top of the air barrier over time, putting weight and stress on the tape and the joints. And you can look at the quality of the job. They've meticulously installed this without any gaps We've made sure that the insulation is completely abutted to the air barrier. Now we're going to continue the air barrier across the underneath of this ceiling. And then the carpenters are going to suspend the ceiling and the integrity of the air barrier won't be compromised by any penetrations. And that there is the tight house detail, which you can find on our website, as well as all of these products that we're using today. Okay guys, now, this is an internal wall, but the, the top plate doesn't go all the way up underneath the trusses. And there's actually L brackets that sit from the truss to the top of the top plate to hold this wall. The easiest thing for us was to put a tight bridge across the top of all of these internal walls. So we've made a room its own perimeter. We've meticulously sealed the tight bridge to the brackets and we've got good integrity within this type bridge. So it's simplified the process where we can section off a room by room, not trying to do the whole floor in one piece. Now the smart vat will connect to this and we'll do each room singly. And very quickly, myself and George, we're gonna start from one side to the other. So we're gonna drag this across and we're gonna staple this to the other side of the room. Okay, now we've buttoned that side and we've just temporarily put a couple of staples either side. So now we don't need to hold the wrap. And as I said, we're going to start from that side and we're going to button ourselves all the way to this edge. If we need to, these staples are only temporary. We can always pull them off and start again or put some tape over that. But we're going to start from one side, evenly working the air barrier all the way across using screws and buttons. Pretty quickly, we've been able to get this wrap up. We've screwed it up with buttons. Purposely, when we measured this room, we left it 100 mil shorter on both sides. So then when we installed the air barrier, we've left a 50 mil gap around the whole perimeter. And that gives us just enough to tape the air barrier to the tight bridge that we've got, and that will end up sealing this process. And then once we finish this room, we'll go, go into the next room and the next and the next to finish this process. With the tight house air barrier detail, it enables us not to batten out walls. There's only one place and that's the ceiling that needs to be battened out. You don't need service cavities on your walls. So using a Proctor high tack tape, we will end up taping the actual perimeter which will then seal it. Now we've very quickly, just under an hour, been able to install this air barrier connected to our tight bridge. Once we've completed this whole top floor and the pockets of the ground floor, we'll move into that next process. So we'll move down and we'll show you a bit of a, bit of a detail which continues this air barrier where we've got uh, lower roof that's connected to a wall on a first floor 
and why we need to continue the detail in pockets on the ground floor. Okay, now we've continued downstairs and previously we've documented and talked about this detail where the top floor down to this subfloor was previously wrapped prior to these truss tails installed. So once again, uh, sequencing is the key and we will continue the air barrier across which will be connected to our tight bridge which previously was installed once again before the tail. So if you have a look in this section, in this room, that is the only area that we will be installing the air barrier. And that will continue from the top, down, across this, this ceiling, which is outside of the air barrier in here, and it will complete the transition from the top floor to the ground floor. And now we're going to install Proctor's Smart Vap. Very quickly, we've been able to staple and button the top of this detail. Also with this room, the pattern is a little bit of like an L shape, but for the, the speed of it was for us to just make a square, we've just made the room in one piece. Just look at the integrity of the actual joints together. They are sound, they are true. There's no shadowing on any of the tape. And all it is now is a matter of processing is pinning, buttoning all the way across, and then we'll tape the external to our tight bridge detail. You can see here the tape. We've got the external air barrier that's come down to the face of this LVL. We've got the internal air barrier here and we want to tape it to the back side of this LVL to support this air barrier. But you can see that there's actually a gap in between these two LVLs. We've taped to this side here. We're even thinking that we need to tape off this join to make it continuous so that we don't get any leakage across the top of this LVL from the front side. So we're previously going to tape across this, then that will allow us to continue that process. And we're just thinking even about the little things to make sure that we're covering all points of potential leakage. Okay, so we've used our buttons to secure the wrap at multiple points. And we're going to use our Proctor Rack High Tack Plus 75 mil because I want a good purchase of tape to seal the perimeter of this air barrier. So we've screwed it, we've used the buttons. Now we're going to use the High Tack Plus to seal the detail. That actually completes this section of the roof and you can see the footprint of the counter leaving roof from the top floor. That finishes this room. The rest doesn't require an air barrier because that is within the building envelope and our perimeter is here, continues across and goes up to the top floor. This has eliminated us nogging and needing to create a service cavity for any of our services that penetrate these walls. Power points, switches, air conditioning, our air barrier on the outside. On this ceiling, it will be battened out, so there'll be a service cavity for our centralized system services. And that completes this detail from start to finish. Very shortly, we will be coming back with a video of us doing a blower door test. We've got Passive House certified windows and doors with a tie house detail. It'd be quite interesting to see how this performs. So from us at Efficiency Matrix and Tight House, keep wrapping.